Now, I got really bullish from Tesla about 150 points ago when it became clear that the company can make money, maybe even a lot of money, as soon as next year. At the moment, you're getting another wave of conversion from bears to bulls. 27% of the float is still sold short, which is way too high for a company with positive earnings that can raise $2 billion if it needs it on a dime. What else made me go bullish? Elon got serious, stopped tweeting, stopped consulting the SEC. Solar business became a positive, not a drag. Someone threw a rock at the supposedly unbreakable window of a Tesla new pickup truck. It went through it, and no one cared. In fact, the boss skyrocketed. What more can you ask for? The Ford and GM versus Tesla comparison is just a parlor game. Tesla's got electric, electric vehicles. That's the future. GM has an electric vehicle that no one seems to want. Who the heck knows what Ford's up to? Who cares? Wake me up when Tesla's double the value of Ford and GM put together. Double! That's when I might take a pause in my bullishness. But only if GM and Ford gain in value from here. Because if they decline, a double's too easy. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com or give us a call at 1 800 743 CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.